There's two other people you must meet. They were at the, the auction as well. You stay here. Stay money. Jackie. Hello. 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 Yeah. Oh, hey, you're from a foreign country. We're from England. Oh. <laughs> cool. Well, sis here's dating a prince. Dating a prince. It must be Edward. <laughs> I'll get some drinks, darling. They're doling up. Yeah. Yeah. Forbidden fruit used to taste a little sweeter when Safi was here. Mm. I mean, I just think sometimes you need a little sort of cart. Oh, oh, I knew I'd get it wrong. <laughs> I'm so thinking how well I was doing. <sighs> Absolute Family is a British TV comedy that came to BBC One in the early 90s. It was written by Don French and Jennifer Saunders, and Jennifer Saunders herself stars in the series with Joanna Lumley. The series revolves around Edna, a PR agent, along with her fashion magazine director, Patsy Stone, both frequently smashed out their minds with alcohol or drugs, or both. Julius Wilder plays Sephron, a student and buddy writer who has to keep her immature mum in check. You've also got Jim Whitfield as Edna's thieving, sarcastic mother, and my favourite, Jen Oryx playing Bubbles, and there's extremely dizzy and ditzy PR assistant. Are you Mini Driver? Yes. Oh, then come in. <laughs> the series ran on the BBC between 1992 and 1996. Then in the 2000s, returned again for a couple of one hour specials. I remember this coming out, but I wasn't really a fan of French Sons. I mean, I love them, I like the genius, uh, but I don't know, I just didn't click with them. But I could see. This being a great vehicle for him, I'm a, but I do absolutely love Joanna Lumley. I just wasn't into fashion, so I do kind of appreciate it, but I wasn't Star Trek geek after all. However, you know, I do appreciate good British comedy, and what I saw of bits of it was great, especially the character Bubbles. That character for me is probably worth tuning in for, let alone. Mini? Yeah, yeah Mini. Mini Driver's coming here, yeah. Mini Driver? Yes, Mini Driver. <laughs> is it a dwarf? <laughs> What are you saying? Why are you saying that? Is it a dwarf? Stop saying that! That's just weird! Mini driver! <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. And let's not forget that absolutely fabulous The Movie hit cinemas in 2016. Though it had been hinted for a sequel, Jennifer Saunders has said this will be the last for now. <laughs> so other than that, I don't really know much about Absolutely Fabulous, but I have to reach out across the world because I like to invite friends who I know, and hopefully future friends out there, to tell me about their favourite TV shows. Now, none of my friends I know like Absolutely Fabulous, so I reached out. So I've got now, on waiting for me, on call, is a lass from TikTok. Her name is uh, Erica Love, and she's going to tell me about why she loves Absolutely Fabulous. Erica, are you there? Hi! My word! She's got quite a big following on TikTok and Instagram and certainly raises temperatures for all men and others around the world with those beautiful eyes. Look at the eyes, look at the eyes, you're under. Live from America, it's Erica Love. Hey Erica, welcome to Memory Bubble and Luke's TV. Hi, how are you? I'm absolutely fine. You look absolutely wonderful. You look comfy. Yes, I'm sitting here on my couch in my home in Austin, Texas. Wow. And is it hot? It's real hot today. It is, it feels like 95 degrees or so. See, we only got, we only got a bit of sun or rain. That's all we have. Let's just look at the window. Ah, oh, it's raining. Look at the window. Oh, sun's out today. It is, it gets so hot here in the summer. It is crazy, but it's also beautiful and nice. So you get to be in the pool all the time. Well, I, we're really honored for having you on, especially from all the way from where you are. I mean, it's like to me, 
it sounds like you, you live somewhere like, like the beginning of Dallas when it, you know, the camera pans on that little house. I think your neighbour is like 16 miles away. <laughs> That's how I imagine it. <laughs> yes, we are very far apart right now, but I'm excited to talk to you too. Okay, so obviously you wanted to talk about friends, but somebody picked that. Um, so we're going to talk about your second favorite show, which is absolutely fabulous. Which... Yes, I love AbFab. Oh my God. I discovered AbFab when I was in high school and I would come home from school and I would turn on Comedy Central here in the US. Like it was a new station back in the 90s and AbFab would be on and I just loved it. There was nothing like it on American television. I think ever anything like that on American television. And I fell in love with it. So AbFab is one of my absolute favorite shows. Oh my word. I mean, I I didn't think you'd translate over there. I didn't think you'd even get it over there. That's amazing that you've watched it. You want to try and keep that pelvic floor in shape, darling? Take care of down there. Yeah, trim and tighten. Yeah, and then like it neat and tight. Not swinging saloon doors, Annie. <laughs> I had my whole floor. <laughs> so what character do you think you relate to in Absolutely Fabulous? Are you an Eddie? Oh Are you a Patsy? Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm a little bit of all of them, to be honest. So I had a single mom growing up and like, you know, she started dating again in her 40s. So there were many times where I felt like I was the, you know, teenager taking care of things at home. So I related to the daughter, but then I always wanted to be in like PR and marketing. So I looked at Eddie and Patsy like, oh, well, they're, you know, successful fashion business ladies doing their thing. But they were also just like hilarious train wrecks. <laughs> so, I mean, and like the fashion in the 90s was like crazy anyway. So it was just this mix of like everything on the show that was just, it was super funny. And like, they're so dramatic in their like physical humor as well. And again, it's like you didn't see female comedians doing anything like that on TV in the US, like it just didn't exist. So I don't know, they were just so over the top that I couldn't help but love them. You're not wrong about over the top. I mean, I watched one before just to prep this and uh, I forgot how horrible Jennifer Saunders character is to her daughter. But come on, oh. sweetie, are you pregnant? You still got the baby? Oh, that's awful. Yes, and then you have like the grandmother who's just like, everything's fine and normal and nothing's wrong at all, honey. Like, but oh, I hope you guys think Jennifer Saunders is a national treasure because she is just too funny. <laughs> Please don't react. <laughs> I won't. I'm going to move out of the halls of residence. No! <laughs> Character-wise, I'd say what I've seen of it, I'm more bubbles. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! The Mini driver! Mini driver! <laughs> oh my god! So like my very first jobs in New York City were working as a little assistant and like entertainment companies, and it would be so bizarre the things I would experience. So it's like again, like seeing a character like that, it's it was just like, oh yeah, you're gonna do some weird stuff and crazy stuff, and you just have to be nice and smile. That is the perfect assistant for a job like that on that show being a pr assistant in fashion you just smile and nod like it's all you're supposed to do oh no okay. <laughs> in fact no you come back here now i'm fed up with this attitude of yours just <laughs> Yes, I've got some facts for you. They're mostly true. There might be one or two that are false, so it's up to you to identify. Okay, so I have to say true or false. Yes, you basically say true or false. You can always elaborate by all means, but yeah, it's basically true or false. Okay. okay. All five of the main actresses' names begin with J. 
true or false? True. It is true. Yay! Can you name them? I want to, well, Jennifer Saunders, Joanna Lumley, uh, Julia Somebody's the Daughter. Yeah. That's all I got. Oh, well, that's good. You got three out of five, which is all right. <laughs> Bubbles is Jane Horrocks. Okay. And then I said the, the, the grandma or the mum is June yep. Whitfield. Got, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All Jays, but you got it right. You got the main question yeah, right. Yeah, I was like, that sounds true. I feel like that's true. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Okay, second one. Edna, or Eddie. Eddie and Patsy have appeared in an episode of Roseanne. And she was on Roseanne? Dan, I watched a lot of Roseanne too as a kid. I don't know what she played. Oh, wait, I'm saying true or false. False, I'm saying this is false because I've never seen this. It sounds very unlikely, but come to this, it's true. What did she play? Only one episode. Wow. I know it's a cameo, wow. but they have technically appeared on Roseanne. That's surprising. Joanna Lumley, who plays Patsy, hates smart cars, especially after riding in the boot of one. The one of the episodes. Oh my goodness. I'm going to say true because I don't like smart cars. <laughs> it's false. She loves them. <laughs> she said, the best car I've ever owned. <laughs> Oh my god, see, she is a tall woman, or at least she looks tall. I would think that it'd be very uncomfortable to drive around in that. I thought the same thing. She is pretty tall. Oh, obviously, you we might be counting her hair. She's had it sprayed and not. Yeah, I mean, it might be the hair, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I like that's a quote. It's the best car I've ever owned. Still with Joanna Lumley, uh, for Patsy. Joanna Lumley was once a Bond girl. Ooh. I'm going to say that's true because I know she was a stunt woman at one point. So she has like, you know, lots of experience. So I'm, I'm going to say true. It is true. Oh, good. <laughs> it was way back in 1969 it was with George Lazenby in on Manchester Secret Service. She's in the retreat on the, the mountain where they're uh, being, they've all got like allergies or something. I don't know what hers is, but some people are allergic to chickens or <laughs> I can't look at chickens or tell us if Alice has been like hypnotizing them. But yeah, George Lesley goes up as Bond and the kills and they're all, they're all women there, so he's he's in his element. But yeah, quite he's quite true. <laughs> Jennifer Saunders was in a Star Wars movie. False. It is false. However, she did do a skit with Dawn French in a, a show, in British show, French and Saunders. I don't know if you had it over in America, but she did mm -hmm. a special skit on the episode one, The Phantom Menace. And she, she was um, the Qui Gon Jin Liam Nielsen character, complete with a Belfast accent. <laughs> really <laughs> random. Not have expected that. Yeah. And another fact also, her husband is uh, Ed Emerson. He was in The Last Jedi. So he's been in a Star Wars film, but she has not. So you were correct. The answer is false. Okay, yeah, and now I'm like three right. I feel good now. The actor Edris Elba is had his first ever speaking role in Ab Fab. True or false? True. Because they used to have a lot of young, attractive men on that show, if I remember correctly. So it would make sense if maybe very early in his acting career he appeared on that show. So I'm going to say true. You chose wisely. True! <laughs> <laughs> Season three, an episode called Sex. Um, of course. <laughs> and John Lumley actually compared him to Sir Sean Connery. So he has, that was his first speaking line. Wow. That. Wow. You funk it. <laughs> yeah, most of them right. I like to think you got them all right. <laughs> you got them all right. Because you're absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much, Erica, for being on the show today. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Bye. Uh, bye. Oh, they're going to pee. They're going to pee. Rock the theme tune. Sing the theme tune. Have I 
massive shout out again for Erica Love for being this week's guest. Thank you for watching Memorable this week. Another one coming very soon. We end now with this tune from Absolutely Fabulous. One for me, Dave Hughes. Thanks for watching and take care. Dead yet? <laughs> mini driver? Yes, mini driver. Is it a dwarf? <laughs>